Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about bugs. Everyone has them, nobody wants them. I'm going to show you some DIY products I use myself that you can easily get at a big box store. Bear in mind, there are concentrated forms of bug control that you add water and mix with a tank sprayer. There's also commercial products that you can get. They are very effective. Commercial products do seem more expensive up front, but they're actually cheaper in the long run. But I'll cover tank mixes at another video. So bug control is a multi-front battle that you need to attack differently. We're going to start from the inside and work our way out. If you store your garbage can inside like me, you know the smell can be pretty bad. This product from Waste Management works great at reducing the smell, which will reduce the amount of flies heading inside your garage. For about $5, this is a good price. Look out for it at your local supermarket, but be careful about buying it online as sometimes the price is tripled. Another product that works great is a product called Odoban from Home Depot, which is okay at stopping the smell, but not as good as the waste management product. I tested out Febreze, but I find it works, but doesn't last as long. Next is forming a bug barrier inside the home, which is optional. Spectracide Bug Stop and Ortho Home Defense. These are great for the corners of your garage and inside your home. They run for about $12 to $15. Just be careful if you have kids or pets so they don't come, come in contact with it while it's wet. I apply this in my garage because I choose to apply my barrier outside the home. I'm not too worried about putting the barrier inside the home. Next is controlling bugs outside the home. I use a granular product from Spectracide called Triazicide. It's about $17 for a 20 pound bag, which covers 25,000 square foot, or $7 for a 10 pound bag, which covers 12,500 square foot. Its mode of action, meaning the way it kills the bugs, is basically it's a nerve toxin. Because it's a granular product, it's easy to spread. All you need is a spreader. You basically start at the edges and make your way up and down through the lawn. So every two to three months, I rotate this out with Roundup Bug Destroyer. It kills by contact and ingestion. So basically, I put one product and in two and three months, I put the other product, making sure to rotate. The reason you wanna alternate products is so the bugs won't develop resistance too quickly. When applying, just make sure a little bit spreads to your foundation. Finally, I alternate for Zen sprayers. I strictly use this for foundations and the woods behind my fence. The product of choice I use is Seven, which is good at killing flies, mosquitoes, and a bunch of other bugs. Rotate this out with Spectracide for the foundation and wooded areas. So let's talk about flies. There's nothing more annoying when you're having a barbecue and you have way more flies than guests. I found a few ways to solve this. I'm gonna use this bottle of seven, for example. It comes pre-mixed, very easy to apply and attaches to your hose, and it has a little gauge at the back. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of how to apply it. Just be sure you wear your protective gear. You have to wear long pants, boots, long sleeve shirt, hat, mask, glove. So what you need to do is get a hose. You might need two hoses if you have a wooded area behind you. You could also apply this to foundations, which I also do. So you can see this hose, it reaches all the way from the corner of my house up to here. What you wanna do is take the product, shake it a bit. Then you attach your hose to it. It's supposed to be. Okay. Shake and spray.
So after I spray my wooded areas and my foundation, I use these little light traps. They work great. What they do is they produce a smell that the flies are attracted to. It's a really bad smell. It smells like manure, lack of a better term. So we're gonna take a walk in my backyard where I hang this. Take a look for yourself. So deep in my wooded area, all the way back, far away, as far away from civilizations I could possibly make it, you have this little fly trap here. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the flies. There's like thousands of them in there. And this is just one week worth of catch. So typically what I do, I take this out, throw it in the garbage, put a new one on. These disposable fly traps come in a package like this and sealed like this. All you gotta do is cut around the edges with a knife or a scissor. And then you fill the water. This pops up. You fill inside here with water, hang it on a tree far away from the house. You fill it up all the way to the line and you stop. From here, you get either a small thin rope or anything to hang on the tree. Just want to make sure you wash your hands after handling this, throw it in the garbage and you're done. So if I know ahead of time I'm going to have a gathering or a barbecue of some type, what I typically do is get this product from Home Depot or Lowe's called Cutter. It'll give you a good couple hours of protection from mosquitoes and it's great for flies. All you simply do is go to your patio and spray. Here's a bonus for you guys. I find this works. I can't explain why, but from what I read online, it just somehow does. You basically take a bag of Ziploc, fill it with water, add a coin to it. If you're cheap like me, put a penny in it. Something about the reflection drives away the flies. So you simply put this on your table, anywhere you like, and there you go. If you're having a gathering, flies for some reason will stay away from that. I wanna thank all you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bells. Thanks. Oh, <laughs>